my biggest fear is that I can't see Sends all the statements, it's not for me Someone's going on that I can't breathe. I need to hear you come say Lord, I'm not blabbing, it's for I'm so far beyond that I can't keep uh, I need to promise I'm a bony If you just take the time to hear me uh, uh, At times I wanna run away So sick and tired of doing things my way I just want to know this my day Nothing's ever the same, it's only the other way I can do it, 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 I can do it Holy Father, God of heaven, the creation of the universe, have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy upon us, have compassion towards us, Lord, we move from us, lust, covetousness, envy, hatred, malice, deceit, grant us, Lord, with thy wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, bless us, Lord, with the spirit of charity, Lord, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Father, which is in heaven, honor be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done as it is in heaven, and it be on earth, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us for our sin, forgive all the sins against us, lead us not into temptation, there was some all evil, Father, we pray that, Lord, you heal the sick among us, quickly and speedily, we pray that, Lord, you keep us safe, send your angels to guide us and protect us throughout this captivity, Lord, our enemy is many, but we know that your army is more greater than them. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we thank thee, we glorify thee, Lord. Amen. All right, all right, brothers. Uh, praise to the Musa. I hope praise. We got a short staff here, but we get it together. Where we at? Where we at? Yeah, where's my line up? Hey, shalom, shalom, family. Happy Sabbath, happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. As we know, man, your brothers, your sister, we're in a bottle of war right now, you know? But we do have something. Brother didn't even have my thing ready yet. 
So now I got to roll in the old thing, you know? All right? So, so we're going to bring the evidence out. I mean, the whole world is against the evidence. But guess what? I want y'all guys to read for me, though. You know, <laughs> give me the book of uh, Nehemiah. Give me the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah 9. We're going to start at 26 to 29 right quick. It's the book of Nehemiah, chapter 9 and verse 26. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee and cast thy law behind their backs and slew thy prophets which testified against them mm -hmm. to turn them to thee. Mm -hmm. And they wrought great provocations. Therefore, thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies mm -hmm. who vexed them. And in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven. And according to thy manifold mercies, thou gavest them saviors who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. I want all your brothers, all your sisters to understand that. This is prophet Nehemiah prophesy. Then now we see this thing here in America, man. We see these prophets rise up. We see saviors rise up. We see leaders rise up. But we want to show you guys a picture. Uh, because we talk about saviors, you might, you might cannot picture the whole thing yet. No, no, no. You good, you good, you good, bro. Yeah, you good. Go ahead. Verse 28. Yeah, I mean, we did uh, save your uh, verse one more time. Verse 27. Therefore, thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies. Because we was delivered into the hands of our enemy, right? We was delivered to the hands of our enemy because we break God's laws, right? But out of his mercy and his grace, guess what? This is man, what he sent us, man. I want you guys to see these brothers. Go ahead. Therefore, thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies, uh -huh. who vex them, and in the time of their trouble... Because believe it or not, we are vexed here in America, man. We are vexed here. Seeing the condition of our people, we are vexed here. Always remember that, brothers. We cannot be comfortable in this place. This place is wickedness. This place is evil. So we are vexed here. So God sent us these prophets. Let's, let's put them up. Put them up. Put them up. Lord said he will send you saviors. That happened in Brooklyn. These days we'll bring that fire out. They scream in peace when there ain't no peace. Israel, pop a sign in the streets. Look at me, the center of attention. Like Messiah, one day is come and we have some time. Army, guess what? We have to come keep this up down. Black Messiah, we have to get these people to come down. They scream in peace. These are no the savior of the nation of Israel. That's why we're here. The many people who have squashed in the streets of Babylon, because our people is being hit. You cannot Bring stop this, break. so you cannot Lose stop this. When that fire this will not be stopped by any man. You understand? So you got you seeing us in every street, in every country. So you got you seeing us. All right, he's the Savior. Now let's read the scripture. Hold on. Now give me the one with Captain with Captain on that. Give me, the, give me the one with Captain. So because many people want to know what this march is all about. Go ahead. This one right there. Brooklyn, man, we in New York City. Hey, look, we've been to surround the Barclays, man, and we've been to show the people that, look, hey, we the true prophets of God, hey, we got the truth. Hey, look, we just gonna destroy and cast down all that. Hey, yo. I'm from the north. It really get cold up here. We in control up here. We winning the souls up here. I'm from the north. What you see is better show some respect. respect. All the scriptures is cutting your neck. Yeah. Yeah. All the zero is full of the leg. I'm for the north. We're here to push this truth. We're going to come together in unity, formation, and peace. And okay? peace. Let them know, together, Cap. Step and together. Peace. Sound together. We're going to stand together because we are the real Jews. We're the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. That's and right. time our people understand is that these are the last days. It's time for us to wake up, learn who we are, and keep and apply God's laws. And that is going to be the ticket to our deliverance. There's a that, outside. That's what this whole thing is all about. The repentance of our people, the return back 
the 12 tribe of the house of Israel. If you want to know what we are about, we are the saviors of the house of Israel. We're here to return the 12 tribes. But then, believe it or not, we're going to gather the 12 tribes. <laughs> with, right. with you, without you, we're going to gather the 12 tribes. We want every brother to understand that. So let's, let's go back to Nehemiah. Start reading in verse 26 one more time. Yes, sir. Nehemiah. This is what happened to our people. All chapter, right? Chapter 9, verse so 26. The evidence is, the evidence is going to be clear because a lot of people want to take our identity claim they are so-called Jews. This is the evidence of the Bible, what happened to the children of Israel. Go ahead. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 26. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee mm -hmm. and cast thy law behind their backs mm -hmm. and slew thy prophets, which testified against them to turn them to thee. You see that? Read that, uh, read that part again one more time. And slew thy prophets, which testified against them to turn them to thee. You see that? The children of Israel killed their prophets. They're supposed to, the prophet was, was there to turn us back to the Lord. You understand? Then we've been going too far. So the prophet wise up to bring us back to the Lord. That's the picture we just seen. That's the picture we just seen. The saviors, the prophets, they're here now to bring us back to keep God's law, statutes, and commitments. That's what these men had this march for. You understand? And we stand for the brother because guess what? He mentioned our name. You understand? He are the Jew. Let me tell you guys something, man. Because think about it, right? These people paid trillions of dollars to keep us in the dark, right? But now we out here now. We can read. We can read to our people and show our people where, where we err on, what we need for salvation, right? So what do you think these people are going to do? They're going to put a lot of slander in the media. That's what's been happening. Even though I'm not our own brothers, and men, I'm not our own brothers put the slenders up on the media. But we want your guys to understand. You understand? Your slenders would not stand. You understand? God raised up these men up for a reason. You understand? Israel must repent. No matter what the devil trying to do, guess what? Let's read that in, in, uh, in Matthew 16 and 18. Let's see, if the, let's see if the devil will be succeed. Then the devil going to find to be guilty today. He's going to find to be guilty today. You understand? Go ahead. Matthew chapter 16 and verse 18. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, mm -hmm. and upon this rock mm -hmm. I will build my church, uh -huh. and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. What Christ said? And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I want your guys to know. All hell break loose, man, when they see the, the, the saviors of the nation of Israel in this march. All hell break loose. Then we do many march, brothers. Peaceful march. But where was the media? Where was the media? But if there was black men killed himself, guess what? They was going to show it to all the media. But now they see black men that is in order. And the white men fear. Because where that fear come from? Because he think, he think in his mind he destroy us. Then he see us standing up, just like, let's read that in Revelation right quick. Let's read that in Revelation right quick. Again, the devil is guilty again. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Let's see the great armies. Because we have to understand one thing. This thing here is not, is not a regular thing. When you see these saviors that God sent, guess what? Money ain't going to turn us away. You understand? We're not going to sell our soul for anything. You understand? But we want your guys to understand what's going on. In these media, we want you to understand that what you need for your salvation. Then you're going to find out today, guess what? As we bring this evidence out, guess what? You're going to find out the devil is guilty in all this charge. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 11. And after three days and in half, that's right, the spirit of life from God entered into them. Let's go. And they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Mm -hmm. That's what we just see on the TV. That's what we just see. Great fear fall, fall up upon these nations. They thought they'd destroy us. There is no comeback for us. But all praise to the Most High. Let's read Nehemiah one more time. All praise to the Most High. So we may know where we at in this last day. 
Many people want to know why, why these things happening. What's going on with IUIC? Because many people stand up, but guess what? Throughout captivity, we went to the Syrian captivity. Israel knew who was the leader there. We went to Babylon captivity. Israel knew who to follow. We went to the Median and the Persian captivity. Israel knew who to follow, right? We went to the Greek captivity. Israel knew who God rise up to follow, right? So, so now we went to Rome. Israel knew who was set up for them to follow. Now we in America, we confused? Are you actually going to make no's in this earth? I want all you all to understand that. But we're going to do it through this. We don't have to gather no guns. Because we was not commanded to gather no guns for this fight. We was commanded to bring the word of God out to our people. You understand? That's what we was commanded to do. We want all you all to understand that. You ain't going to catch us in no violence. Then if you see one of us commit any crime, we're going to report it. Because that's not what we're here for. We're here to build the 12 tribe, to set the 12 tribe in order. Why right before the eyes of the damn enemy, which is the damn devil? Go ahead. Nehemiah chapter 9 and verse 26. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee and cast thy law behind their backs and slew thy prophets, which testified against them to mm -hmm. turn them to thee. You see that? So the prophet was to turn us to God. But look what Israel done to the prophets. They killed the prophets. Today, they slandered the prophets throughout the media. I mean, none of them has stand up as IUIC stand up. You know I mean, to show the world that God, the spirit of God is in this earth. But guess what? Many of our brethren, they call themselves Israel, <laughs> Israelite. But guess what? They speak much evil. But guess what? All y'all going to be judged by that. Because why, why the Lord did not choose you? You so envy. And this says why the Lord have not choose you. You got so much a wicked heart. That's why the Lord did not choose you, camp. But the Lord choose this camp because he found, we found favor in his eyes. You understand? Because that's what, if you look at all the history of IUIC, we stay with one cause. Keep the commandment, Israel, and live. Just the same thing Moses was saying. We have not changed. That's why you have been practicing all these dumb religion out here who have not turned your heart back to the Lord. Every year your guys, your guys got weaker, weaker, weaker. Why? Because you have not turned to the true prophets yet. But when you turn to the true prophets, you are going to understand these men, guess what? They're set up for you. They're here to help you. How the hell are you going to go against them? How the hell are you going to go against them? Go ahead. And they wrought great provocations. Therefore, thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies. That's what happened to the Israelites. We was delivered to the hands of our enemy. Then if anybody can prove otherwise, shut the hell up. <laughs> the children of Israel was delivered to the hands of the enemy. We in America delivered to our hands of our enemy. You understand? We was not brought up here. Yet to be, I mean, to be like... <laughs> People don't understand. The Lord we was not brought here you know I mean, to follow the philosophy of America. That's not what we brought up here to do. You understand? We brought up in here because we break God's commandments. Why are we in America? This is what we're going to do. We're going to turn back to God because we have seen the saviors. We have seen the teachers that God sent before us, man. Scripture said we're going to see the teachers. We're going to see our teachers. All right? So now we're reading what's going on. Go ahead, brother. What verse you in? Verse 27. Go ahead. Therefore, thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies. Go ahead. Who vexed them. And in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou deliverest them from heaven. And according to thy manifold mercies, thou gavest them saviors, who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. I want you guys to know. You see, when God give you saviors, I want, you set, I want to set that thing before you, right? I'm going to go to the most wise men in this earth, right? Let's go to 2 Chronicle, 1 and 10. The most wise men. One of the wise men. Christ is the wisest of all. But I want you to see what Solomon say in the spirit. So when you see these men, pepper and go, so you're not confused what they stand for. You understand? We stand for the welfare of our people. We love our people. So we want to focus on our people. Then let us... 
do our works in our community. We don't need you to intervene, white man, Chinese man, Japanese man, all the nation, we don't need you to intervene. Just let us do our job. Let us set our people in order. Because that's what we were sent here to do. Go ahead. Second Chronicles chapter 1 and verse 10. Give me now wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before this people. Mm -hmm. For who can judge this thy people that is so great? You see that? God's people, it is great. But because of sin, man, we will destroy as a people. We are great people. But Solomon understand that. He's saying what? What Solomon want us to understand in this captivity? What did he ask for? Give me now wisdom and knowledge. Give me now wisdom and knowledge. Give me now wisdom and knowledge. That's what these nations are afraid of. Because these saviors, guess what? They got wisdom, they got knowledge. So they're going to set the 12 tribes in order. Trust me, brothers. Trust me. That's the job of the savior. You understand? That's the job of the saviors. Go ahead. That I may go out and come in before this people. For who can judge this thy people that is so great? That's what I want you guys to understand. Give me 2 Ezra 14, 13. Because when you see how you are, see this is our job, brothers. We pray for wisdom and knowledge. So we may deal with our people. So let us deal with our people. So they may stop selling drugs. They may stop being a pimp. You understand? You are accusing us every day. But now we here now. Their saviors is here now. So let them clean their neighborhood, man. Let, us, let them change the mind and heart of our people, man. Why are you intervening in our business? I don't understand these nations. So because they're happy, see us in the condition we're in, brothers. They're happy to see us in the condition they're in. Today you're going to find out all that nations that go against us are going to be judged by the Lord. But we don't need to do nothing. All we need to do is bring these words out to our people. Hoping that we repent, then the destructions may come. Go ahead. Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 13. Now therefore, set thine house in order. That's why we're doing it in the black community. We're telling the black man, the black woman, you understand? To set the house in order. Because when you're looking at the black community, right? Why do you think the white men get away with a lot of things they do to us? Because we are people who don't have no order. But now God send these saviors out, send these judges out. Guess what? We're going to set these, these neighborhoods in order. They have our people on. That's why we're in every country. We're in everywhere and preaching the same gospel. We paint Israel. We paint Israel. Keep God's commandment and live. That's why we're preaching to all our neighborhood, man. We paint Israel. Keep God's commandment and live. Keep God's commandment and live. Go ahead. Now, therefore, set thine house in order. That's what we are up here to do. To tell our people, set your mind right. Set your house in order. Guess what? When we teach our people to set the house in order, these are the things we're not going to no longer see in the black. Give me the jail thing. And you're going to find out that's what the white men despise us. They see that movement about to change the world, changing the mindset of our people. Give me the jail, the jail one. All right, go ahead. America, 2016. A country that's become increasingly plagued by gun violence. Mm -hmm. America isn't and allegations country, of police brutality. Right? But here in this country is gun violence. He's in Iraq. He's in everywhere. Talking about he's a savior to them. But in his own country, why do he be a savior to the people there? Go ahead. Now you won't find out today America won't be guilty in every place. Charge. Chicago. Every charge we bring out against America's this place here, you're going to find and out President America is going to be guilty in town. every charge. Go ahead, brother. There have already been over 350 homicides in Chicago this year. Yep, bring it back, bring it back a little bit. Go ahead. Hometown. There have already been over 350 homicides in Chicago this year. 
300 and what? Gun violence in the city is spiraling out of control. But America is, is in other people's country. While controversy rages over police shootings. But here in his own country. Person down. Our ticket says mail. You see that? And so when we see victims, froze that for a minute. Young. When we see the condition of our people like this, guess what we're going to do as a savior? Guess what we're going to do? What you think we're going to do? See them out behind? No. We're going to come out here and cleanse them up by the word of God. Cleanse them up. Clean these people up. Go ahead. And the majority of victims, young, black, men, and women. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So who you going to blame for this? Who you going to blame for this? Uh, yeah, for example, you were saying that, carnage. okay, the brother, is, the brother shoot another brother. So who make that gun? Who make that gun? Who make that gun? <laughs> who make that gun? I want your guys to check their evidence out. Who make that gun? Yeah, you can say, yeah, he killed his own brother. But who make that gun? Who bring these guns in the black community? Hold on to that. Play the other video. Then we're going to come back to this video. About, uh, uh... Yeah, ex uh, Captain Gab, uh, you know their guns, how they, how, how they bought the guns to the black community. You know the one I'm talking about? Yeah, because you were saying that the, bro uh, the brother killed another brother, you were saying that it's because they're evil, right? I don't deny that. But we're going to find out who win the guns. <laughs> You're going to have to charge the gun owners, man. That, 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 that deliver these guns in the black community freely. Now you're going to find out it's the white man behind all every evil the white man is behind. It. He's not white, by the way. He's red. The Caucasian race. You heard? No, no. I need, uh, I asked you guys what I needed. Yeah, uh, did, did you got the truck with the with all their guns they drop in the black community? Oh, you forgot that one. Yeah, find it for me though. I need it. Then uh, continue play this video, please. I think Captain sent it to you guys. You're just done because. Go ahead. As Chicago struggles to cope with the carnage, the question is, who is responsible? Yeah, that's the key right here. We're gonna. Uh, we, our job is to find out who is responsible. They we have bring no the evidence for our humanity. When you see us, Those I start of us talking, just pose it a little bit. The sun, the spirit back there, there appears to be a target. Play it. Uh, bring it back. Bring it back. You guys have to be in tune with the teacher, bro. Go ahead. Bring it back. Respect for our humanity. Those of us who have been kissed by the sun is responsible. Bring it back a little bit. All right. As Chicago struggles to cope with the carnage, the question is who? Is responsible. That's the key. Close it right here. We need to find out who's responsible. Because uh, you see me, what you just see, you say, damn, these brothers are evil, right? Which we don't deny that, right? But who's responsible? You find me that trailer? Yeah. Uh, yeah, call, uh, call Captain Abiel, man, that he had that in his phone. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's continue to play this video. Who's responsible? Go ahead. They have no respect for our humanity. Those of us who have been kissed by the sun, there appears to be a target on our backs. Oh, the wait. police are killing our women and children. Mm -hmm. The police are killing our women and children. The Chicago Police that for Department. You heard, what the, you heard what the brother said. The police are killing our children, men and women, right? So what you think us we going to do? You understand? Just move out the way. Let us clean our neighborhood. Because our job is to bring the word of God to them. You understand? Why are you, why are you blocking us from that? You understand? 
you claim, you, you, you claim there are no good people, right? But we just read, we just read in 2 Chronicle 1 and 10, Solomon said there are great people. <laughs> so, I mean, which one, which, which, which of y'all are we going to believe? We're going to believe what, the, what Solomon said. Our people are great people. But all that thing you set up for them, all that trap you set up for them, guess what? You are responsible. Go ahead. You got the trailer. All right, yeah, go ahead. Let's read the article right quick. Police defend use of bait trucks on Chicago's south side. No one touches it, no one gets locked up, officer says. Mm. Read it again, brother. Police defend use of bait trucks on Chicago's south side. No one touches it, no one gets locked up. That's not, that's not true. That's a force. That's not true. Why would you put it there? Why would you put it there? If these brothers never caught up to it, guess what? Guess what? We will never have the statement we see today. <laughs> you understand? Why I do that? Then that's a, that's a true sin because I used to be in the street. I, I see all these things happening. You understand? But why would you go get a truck full of guns? Why don't you just put it in the white community? Why you put it in the black community? You talking about it's a test one. Put it in a white community. Why you come to put it in our black community? Then soon you get caught, oh, now that was a test run. But you've been doing that for years. You've been doing that for years. Give me the one in Haiti. Give me the one in Haiti. Y'all got the one in Haiti? You mean how they got the, uh, you mean how they caught the, the, the so-called, uh, they were sending guns to the churches? America is guilty and all that, bro. I'm telling you. Damn, y'all didn't line this thing up, man. I asked you guys to line all of them up. You see that? Yeah, y'all got to be on point with your stuff. All right, let's go back playing the video. Okay. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Rooters. Anger grows in Haiti over weapons trafficking from U.S. after guns shipped as church donations. Then they just called Chicago. There was a one, uh, there was a, uh, one test, right? They said there was a test, right? But what happened to Haiti, too? There was a test, too? <laughs> in Haiti, there was a test, too, to show you the devilish, you understand, behind, behind all these things, man. Because they're involved in, in our destroy. These people are involved in this. But what happened in Haiti? There was a test one too. White men guilty as charged. That's why we just read. We just read that thing. Go ahead. Now let's go back. Then you notice that they say these guns coming from the U.S. It's coming from the U.S. How the hell did they get to the border? <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, the video. Let's continue playing the video. That's why they're afraid. Because they know what they do to the black community, right? So when they see us in order like that, march like this, they don't like that. They don't like to see things like that. Because they spend trillions to have us in the dark. But when they see the saviors they have seen in Brooklyn, they all get shook. Why? Because they know that the, the, the black community going to be in order. The black woman going to be there in, in order. The black man going to be in order. They don't want that. Because in our demising, guess what? They get filthy witch. So they don't want us to get right. Go ahead. You're going to find out every evil the white man behind siege. all that. Here and across the U.S., outrage at black deaths at the hands of cops is at boiling point. Mm-hmm. In 2015, 306 African Americans were killed by police in America, eight in Chicago alone. We want the city to know that we come together as a community. We're against neighborhood violence, we're against police violence, in any shape, form, or fashion. And we come today to make that be known to the city. 
doing this right the now. monthly police review board yes yeah, yeah a I chance for citizens guys. to air their grief yeah 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 i want your guys to understand that thing right here all right give me the maccabees right quick maccabees one two and nine that's why you see these saviors in these streets and you will not stop them go ahead so first maccabees yeah first maccabees two and nine you see, we just we just uh, we just watched a video in Chicago, right? You understand know, how uh, yeah, I mean, how they set how they set this whole system up, then for us to create much evil in the black community. Then you are gonna find out the white man behind all these things, all right? So we are gonna read in the Maccabees what would happening, in the Greeks captivity what would happening. Go ahead. First Maccabees chapter two and verse nine. Her glorious vessels are carried away into captivity. Mm -hmm. Her infants are slain in the streets. That's not, that's not what we just see. Go ahead. Her young men with the sword of the enemy. That's not what we just see in Chicago, brothers. That's what we see in Chicago. That's what, that's what they do to us. They was doing it back then. They're doing it now. All these things is there for us to win the, uh, the whole evidence out. Then if you got something otherwise, bring your evidence out. But our evidence proved that the white man is the devil on earth. I want all y'all to understand that. I want all y'all to understand that. Then he is the children of Satan. Then he's just afraid because nobody have the boss to tell him who he is. But the saviors of the house of Israel are going to tell him, tell him who he is right into his face. Go ahead. What nation have not had a part in her kingdom mm -hmm. and gotten of her spoils? All her ornaments are taken away. Of a free woman, she has become a bond slave. And you, see, you see that? I want your guys to focus on this thing, right? Uh, uh, go back a little bit. Read it again. Verse 9. Her glorious vessels are carried away into captivity. Mm -hmm. Her infants are slain in the streets. Her children are slain in the streets. We just saw that in Chicago and many other cities of America. Our children being killed in these streets. Go ahead. Then nobody give a them. Nobody be in charge. We see court case after court case, court case after court case. They find not guilty. But we back here. We back. America is guilty, and every evidence we are gonna bring out. Go ahead. Her young men with the sword of the enemy. Yeah, that's not what happened. What we just saw. It's clear. It's clear. The evidence is clear, brother. It's what you're going to do about it. Are you going to be man enough to stand up for your people? Are you going to be man enough to set your mind in order, bro? Are you going to be man enough to know that you destroy as a people? Are you going to be man enough to take responsibility, uh, responsibility for your action? Are you going to be man enough? That's why we in these streets. That's why we in these countries. That's why we everywhere, bringing our evidence out to our people, then also their enemy. Then, then every verse we're going we gonna to find out their enemy is guilty in everyone. Because we just read in the Maccabees under the Greeks, they were doing the same thing. In Rome, they were doing the same thing. In America, they're doing the same thing. We just read, we just saw a video, clear, clear. Mm -hmm. We just saw a video, clear. Go back to the video a little bit. Now you're going to tell me if this place here is not guilty. You tell me. City, you're doing this right. The monthly police review board. Yes. A chance for citizens to air their grievances. <laughs> it's fairly, fairly obvious that people are not only impassioned, but also personally connected to the issues at hand. This isn't um, a group of weekend warriors. This is a group of people who have been personally affected by an issue that is being discussed by the entire country. The Chicago police, they do not get to be judge, jury, and executioner of our children. That's you right. see that thing? <laughs> nobody hey, look, find them guilty. So they execute, <laughs> they're killing our children. Because nobody, this place here is unjust. You understand? It's unjust. So when we cry to these cities, then they say we don't have the right to cry. But look how, look how they're killing our children. Then when you see us standing up, trying to set the black community in order, where there, there won't be no more abortion clean, how our sister murder our children. There won't be no more drug dealers. 
There won't be no more gang. There won't be no more adulterous fornication in the black community. That's our job to clean it up. But we must clean it up by the laws of God. That's the only way we're able to clean it up. So, so move out the way. Let us do the, our job. Let us do our job, devil. Move out the way. Let us do our job. Go ahead. An executioner of our children. That's right. Let's wrap this up. Hey, look, we got to go on the board meeting. Today. So we can thank you. But none. Yeah, you know this. Right now, today. But instead, he's laying off at Malmo Cemetery. And y'all don't get no fuck because he wasn't there, one of y'all kids. Yeah. He wasn't no kids who you are. So y'all don't care. Mm -hmm. Who is that? That's what I want you to understand. America doesn't care. But we care. <laughs> you understand? We in our UIC, we care. That's why you're going to see us in every street bringing this gospel to you. So we may clean you up, brothers and sisters. We may clean your mind. You understand? But you're going to find out your enemy going to find guilty in every evidence we're bringing out. <laughs> the book of the Maccabees. Read it again, my brother. First Maccabees, chapter 2 and verse 9. Her glorious vessels are carried away into captivity. Her infants are slain in the streets. You know, you know when these so-called stars stand up, you understand, some of them, you know I mean, the Lord used them, right, to win, the, to, to, to win this truth out. Some of them in society, they are good people. But guess what? Because of these money, because of the way the system design, you understand, that's hard for them to say anything. But... Some of them the Lord used, guess what? We're going to use their platform to bring this gospel out to our people. You understand? We're going to use their platform to bring the gospel out to our people. To all that march we do toward that Americans, there is no media outlets who bring us up. But to what the black community that is crying, you heard in the news every day, all day. But now we see black men standing up in order. You're telling me the media, the media, the media, the media, the media. So white, white media. Now you wonder why they don't want to put us up there. You know why they don't want to put us up there? Because they don't want your community to, to clean up. They don't want that. But our job as the prophet of Most High God is to clean our people up by the word of God. You understand? So brothers, put on your boots. Put on your garments. We got a serious job to do. We got a serious job to do, brothers. All right? Yeah, we're going to... Uh, now, let's go to the next video. Uh, show a bishop video. Yep, go ahead. That thing don't have no value. No volume. Start it all over again. Start it all over again. We want you to understand, man. These evidence we've been in out today, you're gonna you're gonna judge it for yourself. Now you might think we speak evil. You judge it for yourself. If you if you are awake, you have conscience, you judge it for yourself. Go ahead. Shalom, family. Most high Christ blessed. We're here at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Once again, IUIC is taking the word to the people. No longer, we saw, no longer, we're telling the truth of the Bible that we are the Jews and you are not. Stay tuned. IUIC TV. Play that again, brother. Why did they say that again? Man, many people. Shalom, family. Most high Hold on, hold on. For the again saying, you know I mean, Bishop going to clear it out for you. Go ahead. Hey, Shalom, family. Most high Christ blessed. We're here at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Once again, IUIC is taking the word to the people. No longer, we saw, no longer, we're telling the truth of the Bible that we are the Jews and you are not. Stay tuned, IUIC TV. We are the Jews and you are not. You understand? Today you're going to find out the white man is guilty, blaspheming against the word of God. He doesn't claim he are the Jew. You ain't no Jew, bro. You far away from being a Jew. All right? So uh, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back to Nehemiah. 
Yeah, oh yeah, what verse you, you left on? Verse 27. Go ahead. Nehemiah chapter 9 and verse 27. Therefore, thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies uh -huh. who vexed them. And in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven. And according to thy manifold mercies, thou gavest them saviors. You see that? God give us saviors. Saviors. Go ahead. Who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. You see that? Our job is to save our people from the hands of, the, of our enemy. Now let's show on the gangs. Let's show on the gangs. Our job is to save our people from the hands of our enemy. Now you need, to, you need to see what they did to our people. Why are we up here? Why are we here? Why God sent us back in this captivity? You know what I mean? These are our children. Go ahead. Most notorious and violent gangs in all of America. You see, the group is based yeah, in L.A. Yeah, 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 it's as see old what as 1969. You see, you see what our children will become without order? That's our job to set order in the black community. Now you're looking at our children with no order. You understand? What kind of mindset is that? Who put their mindset on them? Who destroy them? Who destroy them? Go ahead. Which means that they have a ton of power in the area. The area in question is LA, although the Crips have a degree of influence in other areas as well. Stay tuned as we discuss what it's like to live as a Crips member. First up, let's talk some gang history. Who were the original Crips? Well, the gang credits their founders as Raymond Washington and Stanley Williams for getting the group together during the 1960s. You see that? Before well, this, the two gangs these, well, still... You see the guns again? We don't make guns. <laughs> you understand? That's what I want your guys to understand. So when we are here preaching the gospel to our people, we didn't make these guns. The enemy make these guns and drop it in the black community to murder one another. That's what I want your guys to focus. The evidence is clear. But if you, don't, if you are out of conscience, you're not going to see anything. You're going to stay in your stupidity. The evidence is clear. Then you're going to find out who's the guilty. Or who, you're going to find out who's the guilty. Who's going to find to be guilty? <laughs> it's the white folks and everything they stand for. Go ahead existed, but separately on the eastern and western sides of L.A. In 1969, there were a lot of gangs in the area, and they kept fighting each other, because of which many gangs started forming alliances so that they could increase their chances against some of the gang rivals. This was when Stanley Williams, who led the West Side Crips, decided to join forces with Raymond Washington, who led the East Side Crips. Most of their members were as young as 17 years old. Because they think were willing about to it. Uh, fools that for a moment. How are these guys going to survive? How do you think these, these things must survive when you create all these gangs? I'm going to show you how they're going to survive. Now give me the drugs clip. I'm going to show you. Everything is set up, brother. Everything is set up. Check this thing out here. Now you're going to find out the evidence is clear. It's up to you, <laughs> you know I mean, to put it together and come with the right judgment if your mind is right. Go ahead, family. But what they found was cocaine. By the late 1970s, more people in the US were snorting coke than ever before. Most of it imported from Colombia. In the early 80s, smokable cocaine or crack exploded across American cities. Stop. This proved. To so you see, these are their gangs survive towards drugs so they give him drugs in the community to destroy the community it's all set up brothers where the drugs come from we do we have airplanes do we have boats come on man yeah man how did drugs get in this country who bring them here think just think your enemy guilty again guilty again your enemy go ahead play that thing off exploded across American cities. This proved to be a gold mine for countless organized crime groups, even those backed by the CIA. So they now, cocaine... On, on, those backed by who? By the CIA. <laughs> Go ahead. 
countless organized crime groups, even those backed by the CIA. Today, cocaine and marijuana are found throughout our society from top to bottom. And that means corruption top to bottom and gang war violence. What he said? We want it a little bit? Top to bottom. Today, cocaine and marijuana are found throughout our society from top to bottom. And that means corruption top to bottom and gang war violence. The country. <laughs> That's why you see in the black community, right? You think that was by mistake they put the drugs there? They know what their drugs able to do. The drugs able to win violent in the black community, man. Killing. That's why these gangs breed of drugs, alcohol. You understand? That's how they keep the organization going, man. You understand? That I, that, that's what I want your guys to understand. So when you see us in the street bringing their evidence out, don't be mad at us. We got proof. Those are the proof. We didn't make that. We didn't make those things up. We brought books out. We brought information out, data out. How we were set up by the enemy. Then now they see us wise up, trying to get the black men in order. They go furious. <laughs> you understand? They go, they go full force of slandering. But we have not killed nobody. We have not hanged nobody. We have not done nothing evil with nobody. Then if it is, if it's a brother among us that think evil, guess what we're going to do? They'll start doing evil. We're going to have to turn him to the cops. Because that's not what we stand by. You know, and we don't stand by that. You understand? But guess what? All these slandering must stop. They must stop. That's why they are afraid of, brother. They are afraid to see the black. They are afraid one day they're going to see the black men in order. They are afraid they're going to see the black woman in order one day. They are afraid they're going to see our children in order one day. There ain't going to be no more gang. They are afraid that abortion clean will not be in the black community. They are afraid. They are afraid of that. But we understand how Nehemiah says, saviors, God going to send us saviors, brothers who's about this truth. Then give me that in uh, Jeremiah. What kind of mindset these brothers going to have about knowledge? They shall feed them with knowledge. I want you all guys to understand the evidence is clear. So you don't think that we and IUIC, we are evil uh, people. We're not. We far away from being evil. You understand? We all about these laws, statutes, and commandments. You got it? Go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. Read that thing again. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. God said he will give us pastors according to his heart. The pastors you have today, guess what? Yo, I forget to ask you for the picture of the religion picture that we showed last night. Yes. Uh, uh, read that thing again. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. Yeah, what happened to the pastors in this black community? All these drugs they bring. What happened to them? Have they told our people the reason they drop these drugs in the black community is a trap? What happened to these pastors? There's a bunch of church in the black community. A bunch of drugs, alcohol. What happened to these pastors? Because they're not the pastors that God sent. All right? They are part of the system as well. Go ahead. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, mm -hmm. which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You see that thing? Who shall teach us with what? With knowledge and understanding. Because when you look at our people, do they have a spirit of understanding on them? So the prophet will send, uh, the prophet will send to give us what? Knowledge and understanding. These pastors will send to give us knowledge and understanding. What is that knowledge they must teach us? What is the knowledge? Let's get that in Malachi. Then also, let's get the Sawak 1919. What is the knowledge these pastors are supposed to teach us? What is that knowledge? Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, uh -huh. and they should seek the law at his mouth. Because guess what? If these pastors who teach our people the laws, the black community will never be degenerate the way it is. So all these pastors, they're guilty as charge. They're guilty as charge. Because they was not sent by God. 
They were sent by these dudes right here. That's not a coincidence. Put these wicked dudes up. That's not a coincidence, family. The evidence is there. The evidence is there. We in IRC, our job is to give you the evidence. Then if your spirit is right, you're going to judge it as it is. In righteousness. That's how you're going to judge it. You ain't going to judge it uh, uh, of your emotion or your feeling. Th then that's not a coincidence. All these demons, you understand, ways up religion. You understand, all these religion created by these demons. It's not a coincidence. Now let's go back to the script. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, uh -huh. and they should seek the law at his mouth. That our people should seek the law out of our mouth. You understand why? Why they should seek the law out of our mouth? Because we were sent to set them in order. We were sent to set them in order. So when you step in front of us, your job is to ask us, how could we clean ourselves up? How? How to clean ourselves up? That's your job when you see us in the street. To ask us, you understand how you can clean yourself up? Then our job, let's get it in Psalm uh, 119. How could a young man cleanse his way? How could a young man cleanse his way? Because we are destroyed out here, family. We are destroyed out here. Go ahead. Psalms 119 and verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Read it again. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Read it again. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? You see that? The, the scripture said, where did a young man should cleanse his way, right? We just read about the young, our young men being killed in these streets, right? Let's see what the scripture say. Go ahead. By taking heed thereto, according to thy word. You see that? According to thy words. That's the only thing they're going to clean us up. That's the only thing they're going to protect the young men in this black community. Because you have savage. You have wicked spirit in this black community. The only way black men, young black men, you're able to be saved in this neighborhood is doing what? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. According to the word of God. Take heed to the commandment of God. That's how we're going to be protected. That's how God going to protect us, right? Let's go back. Now, let's look, in at, let's look in at our young men, right? Let's look in at our young men, for example. You may show me the, uh, 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 you may how degenerate we become in this society. When we don't take heed to this commandment, this is how degenerate. You yeah, show me the old picture. All right, in the fifties, let's show the old picture. By us not take heed to God's words, by us not take heed to God's commandment, this is this is the nineteen fifties, right? Then you are gonna see is a big difference from now. Go ahead. At least our sisters respect themselves. Go ahead. Yep. Show me the sisters. In this modern day now. And you're going to find out, brothers, the system was created to destroy us as a people. So whoever created the system, that's who we're going to find guilty. Go ahead. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is the system. You know I mean, that was created by white folks. They make these people become stars. They make these people become role model in the black community. I don't know, I don't know what their role model was. <laughs> you see that? Look, this is this is how our sister bring it down a little bit. No, no, down, down. Up, oh, sorry. Stop. All right. This is uh, look at this. Can somebody come look at this? Look what the black woman become. Come on, man. Now, up a little bit. Then these are the role models white people give it us in the black community. Because they will not call their saviors to speak up. They will call these people 
you understand, to speak for the mass. But they're showing you there's a system created for that, brothers. That's why they would not allow us to be in the media, because we're going to tell the truth. We're going to tell who to blame for the system. Our people have to repent. But there's a setup. There's a setup in the black community that designed by white folks. All right? Go ahead, bring this thing up a little bit. So the scripture said, we're not supposed to envy our enemy. <laughs> look at the blonde hair. Look at, look at all these things. Black women want to become white women because we destroy as a people. That's why they are afraid when they see the saviors standing up to clean the black community. They are afraid because guess what? These wig will never be by no more. You understand? These, these fake makeups will never be by no more. You understand? These fake nails, you know what I mean, will never be by no more. You understand? So when they see the saviors standing up in this black community, they already see that. They already see what's coming. Because we're here to set our people in order to get their my right according to God's laws. Not according to our own will. According to God's laws, we're going to set our people in order, man. I bring that thing up a little bit. Now, when I say up, mean down, sorry. And look at their dress code. Look at that. Look at what the black woman become. Now let's look at the black man. Let's look at the black man. Let's look at the black man in this society. Then you're going to find out the evidence is clear. Then you're going to have to blame somebody. Yeah, look at the black man. Look at what the black men become, a species. Look at that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Where's morals? Where's respect? But now, now put that picture, leave that picture up, put one of our pictures. Would you be able to put him side to side? Look at the black man. Look at the black man. Become clown. The black man become clown. Just put me the video of the army. We become crazy. We become mad. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. These are black men in order. Which one are they there where they see? They want to see your pants and the you behind, or they want to see you in order. The evidence is there, family. Which one you think they want to see? See you showing your behind or, or see you in order? It's Israel, bring that fire out. They scream in peace when there ain't no peace. Israel, pop a sign in the streets. Well, what God said, Look though. at me, the filler of a tent. Yeah, give me that in Psalm. Mm, Psalm 50 and verse 21. This is what God said. Psalm chapter 50 and verse 21. Mm -hmm. These things hast thou done. Mm -hmm. And I kept silence. Mm -hmm. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such and one as thyself. Because God see all these devices the white man created, right? The white man thinking that God is in his side. But God said, I see all the wicked things you have done in this earth against my people. But this is what God said. This is where our faith is laying at. Go ahead. But I will reprove thee mm -hmm. and set them in order before thine eyes. Mm -hmm. What God said? But I will reprove thee. God said he will check the white man. Go ahead. He will check him. So we don't need to check white folks. You understand? We don't need no guns. We don't need none of that. But we're going to check them by the word of God. You understand? We're going to check them by the word of God. Every lies upon this earth, we're going to bring him down. Every imagination of mankind, we're going to bring him down. By what? By the word of God. By the word of God. Go ahead, family. Now look at this. Listen to this. But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Now we're going to play something for you. Play this one. God said he will set us in order before the white men's eyes, before these nations' eyes. That's where we hope on. So get familiar with IUIC. Get familiar with their goal, uh, pepper and gold, and your black community. You understand? We there for you. 
We're not your enemy. Go ahead. Then listen to this white man that earn uh, 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 rocket companies. <laughs> listen to this. Now so this is a clear like evidence they're, they're making it that we want you guys drinking lean and syrup. This is a clear evidence. But we want your guys that is awake, that is some of you who have some type of conscience, then to judge it for yourself. So why are we in these streets? Why are we out here cleaning our people? It's because of these devices the white men create for us, man. Go ahead. Now it's they, they seem like they're they're making it cool to be drinking lean and syrup and it's the most dangerous it's the most dangerous and... thing that's facing um um our society. Are you so, so why sign an artist that would promote that? Stop. Then listen to the question. Why promote our uh, 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 why promote our artists that will push that? Push that where? <laughs> In who neighborhood? Why neighborhood? Those are devices, man. <laughs> Who's guilty? White folks. White folks. <laughs> it's white folks, man. Go ahead. Um, because I, I, I already answered that question. You weren't paying attention. Um, she asked me talent or issues, and I said talent. But I, I, I have to, I, I can't give up on people. But I'm saying that's hypocritical, though? Mm. You're saying um, it's opportunistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I got I got people to feed. Stop right here, <laughs> brother. I want you to bring it back. The word he used, opportunistic. Go ahead. He used our people. <laughs> Go ahead. Give up on people. But I'm saying that's hypocritical, though. Yeah. yeah. You're saying um, the it's opportunistic. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What did you just say? We wind it again, brother. <laughs> In the black community, that's how they look at us. Go ahead. But I, I, I have to, I, I can't give up on people. But I'm saying that's hypocritical, though. <laughs> you're, you're saying um, it's opportunistic. Yeah, yeah, opportunistic. yeah, I got, I got people to feed. <laughs> you um, oh, I got a, I got a, I as gotta, long as family is not destroyed, our family can be destroyed. White man, guilty again. <laughs> it's a guilty charge, man. Then that man is not a regular dude. You know how many people he signed? You know how many people that guy signed? I man. And when we when we telling our people, we in the land of our enemy, they don't believe us. You understand? When when Kanye West is is saying what he's saying, you think he just that thing coming out of his head? You don't know the hell he's talking about? These people are pure demons. <laughs> That's what I want you to understand. These people are pure demons. As long as it's not gonna destroy his community, so-called Jewish community. You understand? But they can destroy us. <laughs> now you tell us who's that damn devil is, black man, black woman. You tell us, I can't to our, uh, this, this, these are the things that, I mean, you, you're able to Google it yourself. So you don't think we, we, we make that up. Those are evidence. Our so-called Jews destroy our community, man, and give these young black men millions of dollars to promote folly in the black community, to destroy the black community. As long as that community is good, they're good with that. So they're showing you, that, let's get that in a second testimony, said he go out to do the work of Satan. Go ahead. Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse nine. Mm-hmm. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. What is the white man's job? Whose coming is after the working of Satan. What is the white man's job? Whose coming is after the working of Satan. When you're looking at that man, he's the, he is the children of Satan. Look at his action. Just look at his action. You tell us. Are we just saying it out of hatred? Or are now your eyes able to see clear who's playing the devil role, who's playing the good guy role? We are the good guys. <laughs> you understand? They are the evil one. Why you think they're slaying us in every media? <laughs> you understand? They're trying, to, they're trying to do the witchcraft again. You don't see nothing. You don't see nothing. We the good guys. No, no, no. White folks, you being revealed, you are the devil on earth. You being revealed, you are the seed of the evil doors. You being revealed. <laughs> 
You understand? Their evidence is clear. We find you guilty. <laughs> we find you guilty, my man. We find you guilty. Then guess what? If we find you guilty, guess what? Judgment must come. But guess, guess whom that judgment going to come from? And we need to show you that thing, too. All right? We need to show you who's going to bring that judgment. Let's get that in a... Uh, this is our job as the prophet. Let's get that in uh, uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8 right quick. Our job is to wait upon the Lord. You understand? That's why we tell our members, we tell our brothers and our sisters, we are not going to gather no guns. We ain't going to do no harm to nobody. Our job is to heal our nation. I'm saying it again where clear you can understand. We're not here to harm anyone. Our job is to clean back our community is to teach our people, the 12 tribes of the house of Israel, how to repent, how to keep God's commandment. This is our job. You can slander us all you want, but there's a God in heaven that's able to judge all things. Right, man. Go ahead. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. What God said for us to do? Wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. God did not ask us to gather any guns, so you don't have to worry about us. We're not here to hurt you. <laughs> We're here to cling back the black community. You understand? By healing, by the, by the power of God, by healing that's coming from the word of God. That's how our people are going to repent. That's how our people are going to be cleansed. It's by the word of God. Go ahead. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. That's why... When we see if we heard any plot, then we're gonna give you to the we're gonna give you to the enemy, bro. Because we're not about that here. You understand? We are about these commandments. Everything that commandment said is what we're gonna do here. God said for us to do what? Therefore, wait ye upon me. Because he's the, the final judge. It's God is the final judge. All we doing, all we're doing is win the evidence. If you got some type of common sense, you will see who the devil is. You will see who's the children of Israel are. <laughs> if you have some common sense. Read it again. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, uh -huh. until the day that I rise up to the prey. Uh -huh. for, my determin for my determination is to gather the nations. That's what God said. Wait upon him. Go ahead. That I may assemble the kingdoms. To pour upon them mine indignation. You see that? God said he may pour upon them his indignation, his judgment. You see that? You don't have to worry about us. <laughs> you understand? Move out the way. Let us cling the black brothers, the black sister, the Israelite man, the Israelite sister. Let us cling their mind up. Move out the way, man. You already destroyed them. Move out the way. Let us do our job. We ain't going to win no harm to you. Our job is to clean our people up. Bring these laws, statutes, and commitments to our people. But you in the media speak much slanders. I mean, you speak much lie. But there is a judge in heaven. There is a God. <laughs> you understand? That's going to bring their judgment upon your wicked behind. Go ahead. To pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. That's why we're waiting on. <laughs> you understand? All these nations that devour us, all these nations that destroy us, all these nations that kill us in every street, you understand? Murder our children, you understand? Set up, set up trap for our children, you understand? So they become gang, they become homemonger, they become adulterer, they become fornicator. These nations must pay. That's what God said. You understand? Our job is to clean them up because the kingdom of heaven is at hand for the 12 tribes of the house of Israel. All right? So where you at? I just finished verse 8. Now let's jump to Obadiah 115. This is what we're waiting on. Obadiah verse 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. What, what, what the prophet said? The day of the Lord is what? Is near upon all the heathen. That's what we hope. That's where our hope at. That's where our faith at. 
That's why you're not gonna catch us gather any guns because that's not a that's not our thing. That's not we were, that's not what we were sent here to do. You're not gonna hurt us saying that gather any weapon because that's not our job. <laughs> you understand? Our job as the savior of the nation of Israel is to turn our people back to God. How are we gonna turn our people back to God? They must turn back to the laws, statutes, and commandments. You understand? They must turn back to the statutes and commandment of God. That's our job. So when you see us in every street, when you see us in every country, this is why we were set up to do. Now let's show me the video. Show me the video, the language video. Show me the language video. Yep, let's show that thing. You want to know what we stand for, brother? This is what we stand for. We don't stand for violence. You know what I mean? We're not, we not violent. <laughs> you understand? We're here just to teach our people law, statutes, and commandments, how they can change their way of life. Then they may, still, they may stop killing one another. You understand? They may uh, stop destroying the black community. You understand? They may start love one another and see Christ within each you know, they may, I may see Christ in you, you may see Christ in me. That's why we are here to do. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. It's you who don't know. It's you Afro-Syrians who don't know your history. And going to the other side of India, you see the Dalits as well as the Sidis, same thing on the Eastern Hemisphere. Mass incarceration, police brutality, lynchings, convict leases. You have brothers and sisters in South Sudan, your heritage goes far deeper than where you live. You are the children of God. So you see that? You see black men in order in every country speaking different languages. Because what we're doing, give me Psalm 94, verse 16. This is what we're doing. You see, the black man is in order in every country. You didn't hear us say, gather any guns. We're not about that. We're about these, we about these words, though. We're about, we about these commandments, though. Go ahead. Psalms 94, and verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? God said what? Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? This place here, brother, is an evil place. God said, who's going to rise up for him? The saviors are. We are standing up. We are rising up for God. Then we are in every street teaching repentance to our people. We must turn back to God. Laws, statutes, and commandments. The evidence is clear, family. It's what you want to do. Are you going to continue breaking God's laws? Or are you going to turn back to God, keep his commandment, stop breaking these laws? We know he's all trap, brothers. We know he's a bunch of trap set for you. That's why we were sent in America. That's why we were sent throughout the world. Because we stand up for the Lord. Go ahead. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? <laughs> God said, who's going to stand up for him? Then when you see, when you see IUIC, we stand up for God. That's why we're here to clean our people up. Because we stand for God. Because guess what? That's why, that's why if you watch the way we teach, the way we do things, then you're going to find out, you're going to find out we just like our forefathers. You understand? Teaching repentance. They were teaching repentance then. We're here teaching repentance again. Before the destruction come for these nations. It's easy, bro. The Lord said, who will rise up for me against the work of evil door? Let's get Psalm 37 verse 9 right quick. Could we stand up for the Lord? Psalms 37 verse 9. For evildoers shall be cut off. What God said? For evildoers shall be cut off. Y'all heard that, family? 
evil doors shall be cut off from this earth. Go ahead. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. You see that? Our job, we're waiting upon the Lord. While we're teaching our people, we're waiting upon the Lord. Because we know evil doors shall cut up upon this earth. Evil doors shall, shall cut up upon this earth. Let's see what Job said. Let's see what Job, uh, what Job 9.24 said. Evil doors shall be cut up upon this earth. That's what, that's what the Bible said. But as for us, we're going to wait upon God for uh, then we must see this judgment, brother. We must see this judgment. How God going to judge our enemy for the wickedness they have done to the Son of God. Go ahead. Job chapter 9 verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. No, the earth given to the hands of watches. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Are you not in the earth? God said the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. To do what? To govern the earth. So whoever governed the earth is what? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Is given to wicked people. The European race are wicked people. Look at their works. Look at their evidence. It's clear. Now you cannot be confused now. And you want to know why the black community was like that? You was confused. Maybe it's because of finance. Maybe it was because that, I mean, we didn't have a good at, no, no. No, the community is like that because we have evil force that's fighting against our people in, this, in our neighborhood. We're dealing with evil people. You understand? So everything's set up for us to fail. But there's a God in heaven. There's a God in heaven. Go ahead. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. You see that? He covered the face of the judges thereof. Who are the judges? He covered the face of. We know in this captivity, we know Christ as a white man. But the Bible said Christ is a dark black. <laughs> so who's doing that? Who's doing all that? The evidence is clear. Who's doing all that? <laughs> you know, the, the evidence is right into your face, man. Who pushing the white Christ? Blue eyes uh, 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 and green eyes. Who pushing that in the earth? So whoever pushing that in the earth is the seed of the wicked. Last time I checked, we just showed a picture who's pushing that. That so-called white man. By the way, he's not white, he's red. The evidence is there. Unless you're just stupid or a fool, <laughs> then it's going to be hard for you to comprehend what we're trying to show you. But if you are of the seed of the righteous. When you heard these words, you're going to be repent quick and get your mind right. But if you are the seed of the wicked, you're going to continue the wickedness upon this earth, brother, sisters. Then guess what? You're going to caught up in the white man evil doors. You understand? You're going to caught up in his evil. Then guess what? Judgment is coming for you. Some of you, you understand, you see what we trying to do, there you go, you're in the media, speak much evil. And seeing young black men in order, brothers and sisters in order, fathers in order, you understand? Families in order, then you are here, speak much evil. But there's a judge in heaven. There's a judge in heaven, brother. You understand? We want your guys to understand that. Go ahead. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? <laughs> he covered the face of the judges they are. Right? Where? Right? So we got the, this thing here. We got, let me see what I got there. Yeah, let's go to, uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to. Remember, he said, Job said he covered the face of the judges there, all right? So we're going to read something for you guys, right? Let me see. No, no uh, yeah. You see, that's the, that's the media, right? That's the media. That's covered the face of the judges there, all right? So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you guys something. 
I'm going to show you guys something quick. All right. Let's show me. Man, I thought I'd write it down. Yeah. Uh, he covered the face of the judges thereof, right? This is the media he used to cover the face of the judges, right? I'm going to show you guys something quick. No, no, no. I got you. I got it. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, we got to understand this truth is an eyes opening, bro. But it's up to us if we're going to see it as an eyes opening. But a lot of our people are going to be destroyed in this captivity because they give their heart to the enemy. Yeah, let's get that in uh, Ephesians 6. Uh, Ephesians 6. Let's get that in Ephesians 6 where I'm looking for this thing. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Mm -hmm. Put on the whole armor of God. Now, give me that 12. Where is that, that verse? This is going to take it to the point. Take 12. Verse 12. 12. Verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Hey, listen to what the scripture says. We're not fighting against blood, uh, against flesh and blood. When you need guns or you need weapons, we're not fighting against that. That's not our fight. Go ahead. But against principalities. We're fighting against? Against principalities. Go ahead. Against powers. Uh-huh. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. That's what we're fighting against. The rulers of the darkness of this world. Job called it, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. The ruler of the darkness of this world. Who's the ruler that's ruled this earth? Last time I looked, last time I checked, that was the European race. France, German, Spain, Russia, France. We, uh, or is that England, America, all these hate, all these white Europeans, they were the one, they're the one who ruled the planet Earth. What you think G7 is all about? You see these evidences there. It's because your eyes is not open or your ears is not open. But our job is to make sure we open your eyes and ears. Then you're going to find out who's guilty. That's your job, to find out who's the guilty. Who's guilty? We won't bring the evidence. Go ahead. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Against who? Against spiritual wickedness in high places. You see that? For, for some of our brothers who caught up in, in, in their emotion and their feeling, you cannot gather no gun against this man. <laughs> I mean, unless you're just a fool. You understand? The Lord let us know one thing that, that a lot of people are not paying attention to. Read that thing you just said. Against what? Against spiritual wickedness in high places. You see that? It's not a normal people. In high places. They're in government. They're in government. Set up trap for our people to destroy the 12 tribes of Israel. Then when we bring it out, they said, nah, you're a bunch of hate group. How could we, uh, we a hate group? We have not done no violent in this earth. We have not done nothing violent in this earth. We have not hanged nobody. We have not hate nobody. We have not caused no harm to nobody. But how could they label us a hate group? All we have is the Bible. Then all we saying, who's the true Jews? Who's the fake Jews? That's all we saying. I can to the Bible. <laughs> so why are they mad? Why do you think they're mad? Come on, brothers. It's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to wake up to realize why you think they're mad. When they see us coming in the street, why they're mad? You have to ask yourself the question. <laughs> but if you have conscience, you will understand why they're mad. Why they're mad. Yeah, let's get that uh, Psalm 119 and verse 115. Why you think they're mad? It's the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 15. 
I will meditate in thy precepts mm -hmm. and have respect unto thy ways. Now, what God said, what God said we must do? I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. You see that? That's what we do all day, every day here. You understand? When you see us gather together, we meditate upon God's precept, which is his laws, statutes, and commandment. That's what we do up in here, man. We ain't no violent group. You understand? Unless you're trying to set us up. <laughs> Unless you're trying to set us up. Go ahead. Read that again. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. You see that? We respect God's ways. We don't respect the devil way. We respect God's ways. What is God's ways? Is his laws, his statutes, and his commandment upon this earth. That's why we give respect to it. But our people don't know better. So they're in every sin. They're in every, every captivity. They're in every sin. But our job is to cleanse, cleanse the nation of Israel by the word of God. Then we're going to show you who is your enemy. You understand? You didn't get brought up here because the white men love you. <laughs> he gathered you to all throughout the Africa, enslaving you here in America. So since when he become your friends? Unless you just delusion. <laughs> Unless you just crazy. Un Unless you just mad. <laughs> since when? Since when he was your friend? The white man is your enemy. Anybody that will oppress you, anybody that will afflict you, everybody, anybody that will put guns in your neighborhood, drugs in your neighborhood, you understand, abortion clean in your neighborhood, those are your enemy. Bad food in your, uh, in your neighborhood, those are your enemy. Those are your enemy. The evidence is there. It's up to you who you're going to find guilty, son. It's up to you who you're going to find guilty. The evidence is there. Who you going to find guilty? Tell us who you're going to find guilty. Because we know, we know something you don't know. But our job is to teach it to you. Go ahead. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. Mm -hmm. I will delight myself in thy statutes. You see that? That's what we delight on when you see us gather together. We're not gathering together uh, uh, to, to plot anything. We gather together to, to teach our people statues, commandment of God, how to deliver their soul in a place that's so wicked, that's so demonic. Go ahead. I will delight myself in thy statues. Mm -hmm. I will not forget thy word. You see that? We will not forget God's words. That's why we bring this evidence to you. But it's up to you if you're going to judge us righteously. Or if you're going to war with the mind of your enemy, thinking we are hate groups. No, nah, we have not hurt nobody. We're not here to hurt, uh, to hurt anyone. We're not a violent group. <laughs> you understand? Our job is to teach our people laws of statutes and commandments. <laughs> That's why your people don't understand. You thinking that for a minute, the white man doesn't know that? <laughs> you think for a minute, he don't understand that? But I want your guys to understand something. Give me Sawak 30, 39, verse 6. We ain't no fool out here. So be very mindful. Sawak chapter 39 and verse 6. When the great Lord will, he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord in his prayer. Okay, that's what we do when we meditate upon his precepts. When the Lord's will, he give us the spirit of understanding. So as we read the Bible now, we start to understand what the Bible is saying to us. But you have to have that spirit of understanding. But our people don't want their spirit of understanding. Because throughout that religions, we are adopt in this world. Guess what? There is no spirit of understanding in religion. There is no spirit of understanding in Islam. There is no spirit of understanding in Buddha. There is no spirit of understanding in Christianity. There is no spirit uh, 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 of understanding of uh, all these gods we've been worshiping. There is no spirit of understanding in there. You understand? The spirit of understanding is when God put it is for us to learn this, then we'll be able to deliver it to our people as it is written. So you don't have to worry about us. We are, we're not a violent group, not at all. 
But this, this word of, you see, you see this Bible? The Bible going to bring this society down. Because this society, they don't have no morals here, man. There's no moral here. You understand? Two men married together. Two women married together. Adultery is one page. Fornication is going crazy. Adultery is going crazy out here. You understand? All type of sin is ruling this earth right now. So why you think we are here? How, why you think the Lord sent the Savior last? It's for us to redeem the pe our people. It's for us to redeem our people. Because our people need redeemed. Because the white men destroy them. Those philosophy, drama, delusion. Our job is to make sure we, we heal our people according to these laws. Then to bring the evidence to you is up to you what you want to do to the evidence. Are you going to change your ways and keep God's commandment and live? You understand? Then you're going to know who your enemy really is. Your enemy is those that capture you. Your enemy is those that oppress you. You understand? That's who your enemy is. So why do you think they're afraid when they see us in this street? Stand up as men. Because they believe they destroy us. They believe they destroy us. Trillions been spent to keep the black men down. But there's a God in heaven that weighs up saviors to wake up the 12 tribes. That's why they're afraid of. So when you see, let me see, let me see how many things I got in there. I did not show yet. The time is killing me. Go ahead. Okay. Let's go back to the, uh, yeah, the march. Let's, let's go to the march. You see that? This is, this, is, this is what we're trying to do in the black community. Set black men in order. You understand? Then when we set these black men in order, that's, guess what? Guess what? Instead of 80% or 75% in jail, guess what? You're not going to have that no more. You understand? Boyfriend and girlfriend, you're not going to have that no more. Because what we preach here is marriage. Build your family up. That's what we preach here. So we're not a violent group. You understand? We're teaching our people order. We must set them in order. Because that's what the prophecy said. Right in front of your face, God will set the children of Israel in order. Brother, we move fear from you, man. We move fear. The prophecy is clear what God going to do in this captivity. You understand? We bring the evidence out. It's up to you what you're going to do. But to all that evidence we bring out, to all these devices the white man create for us, we find the white man to be guilty in every charge. <laughs> you understand? Guilty in every charge. Then we have the evidence, we have the data, we have everything. We got the books, we got everything. Then you cannot be coolest out here, Israel. It's time for you to wake up, to know who your enemy are. You understand? Who stand up for you? But God sent us to stand up for you. That's why there was afraid when we stand up. You understand? That's why they were so afraid when they see this army. Put the army back up. They screaming peace when there ain't no peace. Israel, pop a sign in the streets. Look at me, the center of attention. Black Messiah, come. Yes, all right. So I'm hoping that, yeah, because the brother did not set my thing up, so I had to go in the uh, in the other section. But uh, from uh, from now on, it's just going to be the the that I'm going to bring the evidence out, and we're going to find who's guilty, who's not guilty. But since brother did not. You know what I mean? I've been giving these brothers so many times to get my thing right. Then uh, all praise to the Lord, man. Then we here, brothers and sisters, stand in prayer, stand watching, watch. Then stand fasting. These are the things to help you. These are good tools to help you in this captivity. Then listen to your teachers, man. Listen to these saviors. These brothers, they are about the Lord business. 
You understand? No need to fear. Our job is to go out here to teach our people. And with that, we say shalom.